there, my name is Rachel and I am the owner and founder of Shimmer Beauty and the Biz and the Six Figure Solo Biz Membership Group. I'm doing this really short kind of impromptu training today for the people that missed the training last night. And then I thought that it might be a really good idea to send it out to you guys. If you are wondering what the Six Figure Solo Biz or SFSB membership, as we like to call it, is all about and if it is something that you might be interested in. So SFSB is a membership group where we have two trainings, sort of like this, but a little bit longer, um, a little bit more involved, maybe a little bit of homework. Um, and you have eight coaching sessions every single month. Okay. For the low price right now of $97 a month, um, that price will be going in, up in October. So if you're watching this in October, I am so sorry. I have not changed out the video yet. You might just want to send me a message and say, yo, you need to change out the video. Anyway, so we did content creation simplified for service-based businesses last night. And I know some people could not make it to the live. So I'm going to send it out email. So I thought that I would just record this kind of cleaner version. So there's no glitchiness on the lives. So anyway, here we go. All right. So content creation simplified for service business owners. The first thing that we want to do is we want to identify the problem that your ideal client has, right? If you have not done ICA work yet, your ideal client avatar, that is something that definitely we can work on in the group. Um, it is super important, like it is massively important for you to know who your ideal client is, because that tells you who you're marketing to. And it also tells you what kind of content you need to be putting out there so that people will actually come and engage with you. Okay. Um, so the problem, what problem does your ideal client have? What problems are they coming to you with? So if you're an esthetician, somebody may be coming to you with problems regarding acne, fine lines, wrinkles, sunspots, um, just dry skin, oily skin, right? They may be coming to you too much hair in their armpits. I don't know, right? So they're coming to you with a problem. So every single problem that your client is coming to you with I want you to write a problem down, write it down on a piece of paper. You may come up with just five things right away. I think I just came up with like seven things. Um, you may come up with 20 things, okay? Every single one of those problems that you come up with, that's a piece of content. Doesn't matter how, doesn't matter if it's a reel, if it's a story, if it's a picture, doesn't matter. It is absolutely a piece of content. So start thinking in the terms of everything that I do in my business, everything that I talk about regarding my business is absolutely 100% a piece of content. Okay. The second thing that we're going to go through is the solution. The solution is the solution that you provide to the problem that your client has. Every solution that you provide, every service that you offer, every problem that that solves, right? Is a piece of content. Okay. So let's say your client came to you with the problem of acne. Okay. Acne can always be a piece of content, right? Now the solution to the acne may be a certain type of facial that you do, a certain ingredient in some of the products that you do, maybe a change in diet. If you're a health coach, right? Maybe, I don't know, whatever it is that you do to solve the problem that is also a piece of content. So all of those problems that you just wrote out on the paper, next to those problems, now I want you to write out what your solution is. And it doesn't just have to be one solution. It can be many different solutions, right? But just the same problem. So every single one of those solutions that you type out, that now is also going to be a piece of content. So let's say you have five problems, which we all know your client has more than five problems that you can solve, right? So, but let's just say you had five, right? Now you've got five pieces of content. Now let's see for every one of those problems they have, let's say you have one solution. We know that you probably have more than one solution, but let's just say that you have one solution. So now you've got five more pieces of content. So now we're up to 10 pieces of content. Isn't this fun? <laughs> okay, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is FAQs, okay? Facts, FAQs, frequently asked questions. Okay. If you have a business and somebody that is new to your business generally has questions, like I'm going to use the example of lash artists and lash techs. That's the background that I come from. I'm an esthetician that does lashes, right? So a lot of questions that somebody who maybe has never had lashes done before, they will come to me with questions. They will say either, 
Um, I heard that eyelashes make or eyelash extensions make your natural eyelashes fall out. I heard that you can't wear makeup. I heard that, you know, whatever it was, you can't sleep. You can't get them wet for 24 hours. You can't do this. You can't do that. You can do this. You can do that. Blah, 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 blah. Right. So everybody that has never had lash extensions before always has like these questions that they have in mind. Um, let's say, for instance, you are maybe a Botox doctor, right? What are the common questions that somebody has before they come and get injectables, right? Is my face going to freeze? Am I going to look fake? Am I going to look like my, I'm windblown all the time, right? So these are the FAQs. If you can come up with five FAQs and you don't have to put them all in one post, do individual posts for each FAQ, right? Those are five different pieces of content, right? So now we're up to 15 pieces of content, you guys. How easy is this, right? Okay, number four the about me. Okay. This might be one piece of content and this might be a long form piece of content. You certainly, if you're doing emails, if you're doing blogs, if you're doing long form video, this is a great place for you to actually get wordy, right? Talking about yourself. Um, you can also do short form content. You can do several different posts, but the about me is actually really important because people want to know who they're going to be doing business with. We're not going to make it the front page of our website because more than anything, they want to know that you can solve their problem right? But after they get to the point where, okay, this person might be able to solve my problem. Let me get to know her a little bit better. Let me make sure that if I'm going to be spending two hours of my time on a Saturday afternoon with her getting my lashes done, I want to see if we have anything in common, right? So your about me should actually be a really great headshot, friendly looking. Um, so make sure you're smiling. Make sure I can see your face, right? These are human connectors. They are absolutely human connectors. People want to be able to look at you and see who they're doing business with. You are watching this video right now and you are getting to know me and you're getting to know my personality through this video. So you're already making decisions in your mind whether or not you want to come and join my membership group and be coached by me and help me help you grow your business, right? You're deciding right now, is this person a little bit too hyper for me? Is she not hyper enough for me? Does she swear too much? In fact, I don't think I've sworn at all in this video, but be warned, every once in a while, I let one rip. <laughs> um, so you're getting to know me right now. So your clients want to get, know, to get to know you. So you can do either a short form video, right? Just introducing yourself. Hi, my name is Rachel. I'm a licensed esthetician and master instructor in the great state of Washington. I'm also a certified life and business coach, and I'm a published author, boop, 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 right? So that you can make it super short and they can get to know you. You can also say, you know, I love wine and I love puppies more, right? So now they know you like wine and you like dogs there. You're just giving them a chance to get to know you. If you want to do more long form more blog, then maybe a uh, picture like a headshot and then just kind of write a little bit about yourself, right? Make it short, make it long, depending on what platform platform you're on. It doesn't really matter. That is going to move us to the next step though. The last step for this very short little video. Um, so we've got five pieces here, five pieces here, five pieces here, one piece here, but it can be broken up into several pieces, depending on how, how much you want to do. The last one is the client connectors. And this kind of ties into the about me section. So client connectors are things that you have in common with your ideal client. This is why it is what this is one of the reasons why it's so important for you to know who your ideal client is. People get a little bit trepidatious when I start talking about developing an ideal client because they want to make sure that they are allowed to sell their product or their service to everyone. You can still sell your product and your service to everyone. I don't care. Sell it to a million people. Become a millionaire, right? That's what I want for you. I'm talking about who we are marketing to. So just because we are market, marketing to one specific person, it doesn't mean other people aren't going to find you. All of my marketing is to one specific person, but I can tell you right now, that person only makes up about 40% of my clientele. So other people have found me. Other people have been attracted to me. Other people have been drawn to my coaching style, right? And I can help them. As long as you are a service-based business, I can help you. It's what I do, right? Your client connectors are going to help people connect to you. So if you are someone who likes wine 
it is perfectly okay for you to post you drinking a glass of wine out on your patio at five o'clock on a Friday afternoon, right? Maybe you want to show the bottle. Maybe you want to tell people what your favorite two buck chuck is. I don't even know if they have two buck chuck anymore. For those of you that aren't from Washington, we have a store called uh, Trader Joe's and they used to sell like wine for $2.99 and people would say, actually say, oh, it's actually pretty good. I've never had it myself. Um, I'm more of like a Chateau St. Michel winery kind of girl, but hey, two buck chuck, whatever, you know, um, client connectors. I have dogs. I have three dogs and I've got a cat. <laughs> so my house is a little bit of a farm, right? So I post about my animals sometimes that draws other animal lovers to me, right? Gives us something to talk about. Um, I'm also a mom. I've got two boys. I'm a boy mom, right? So those who have kids, it's another client connector, especially if somebody's a single mom. I'm a single mom, right? I, I love, love, love being a single mom. I really, really do. Um, so that's another client connector, right? Um, I have my oldest son who's going off to college in a couple of weeks. He's heading off to the University of Oregon, which is in a different state that I'm in. So speaking about that, also gives me a little bit of a connection with other moms who have either sent kids off to college or are sending kids off to college, you know, moms of a certain age, right? So these are just client connectors. So I want you to pick between three and five client connectors, right? Between three and five things that you would have in common with your ideal client. If you are on the younger side, right? Maybe you still love going to raves. Do they call them that anymore? I don't know. Um, but you know, those parties where you guys use the lights and stuff and you dance all night long. <laughs> now I'm really showing my age. Um, maybe you love to do that. And maybe those are the types of clients that you want to work on all day. That's awesome, right? That's great. You know who your ideal client is. So your Instagram feed and your Facebook feed, you're probably not on Facebook if you're posting about that kind of stuff, but maybe your Instagram and your TikTok feed are all about the party life, right? And you're just throwing in, hey, get your lashes done for the rave coming up this weekend or so-and-so festivals coming up this weekend. Get your lashes done so you don't have to worry about, you know, mascara when you're waking up in the middle of the desert with a hangover, right? So all of this kind of stuff, you're, you the, the client connectors and the content and everything that you're putting out, you're going to want to speak to your ideal client so that you can attract your tribe. This is called building a business around your life instead of building a life around a business. You don't want to be held hostage in your business, right? You want to attract clients that you absolutely adore, that you enjoy going to work, you enjoy going to your job. Oh my goodness. Let me see what I just did here. Yeah, my phone just went off. Should I put it on do not disturb? Yes, I should definitely have put it on do not disturb, but that's the joy of doing lives, right? Um, okay, so anyway, client connectors. I think we've got that between three and five things that you have in common with your ideal clients. I've got a couple of other scribbles on here that I want to just go over real quick. We already talked about knowing your ICA. If you do not know who your ICA is, that is some of the first work that we are gonna wanna do if you come in and join them membership and want to get coached by me because this is going to make your content creating life much easier. Okay. I also want to talk to you about the three E's, entertaining, engaging, and educating your clients. Every single one of your posts should fall into one of those categories. Okay. I want you to ask questions on your post. That's going to get people to answer the questions and engage with you, right? A really great way to do this is through story polls. And I have an entire other training and an entire other video on how to get five clients in five minutes from Instagram stories. It is absolutely awesome. Um, just let me know if you want access to that, whether you become a member of this group or this coaching program or not, I am more than happy to send that out to you. It's just a short training. Um, so we wanna make sure that we engage people. We wanna make sure that we entertaining people and entertaining people does not mean dancing and acting a fool on reels. Although I am very entertained by people dancing and acting a fool on reels. I don't dance, sometimes I act a fool, but I definitely don't dance on reels. That's just not something I'm super comfortable with. My reels are more educating, right? Um, so entertaining and engaging and educating people. Let them know about your business. Let them know how you can help them by educating them on the services that you provide, the product that you sell, the ingredients that you have, so on and so forth. And then the very last thing 
that I'm going to leave you with today that is probably one of the most important things when it comes to social media. People really, really underestimate the importance of consistency. Okay. Consistency is key. We're going to need to be consistent. We are going to need to do something consistently. Now, whether consistent to you looks like three days a week or three times a day, every day of the week, it doesn't matter to me. We can start with three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 a.m. You throw your post up, right? But you have to do that consistently for about three months. That's just kind of the way it is. Social media is not a short game, guys. It is a long game. But I promise you, if you are consistent in your social media game for 90 days, you are going to start seeing a massive shift in the activity that comes across your profile and the activity in your business as long as your profile is set up and optimized to bring in business. And that's another thing that we talk about in the membership group, right? Optimizing your profiles so that when somebody does land on your page, when somebody starts engaging in your content, you have an entire system that they just slide into and slide through and become a client. All right, guys, I hope that you found this training helpful. If you have any questions at all, you know how to get a hold of me. You can email me info at shimmerbeautyandthebiz.com, my website, shimmerbeautyandthebiz.com, or you can go through the link sixfiguresolobiz.com if you like. Um, it's kind of a rebranding thing going on. Shimmer Beauty and the Biz was for beauty um, professionals, and Six Figure Solo Biz is for service based providers altogether, right? Um, you can get me on Instagram shimmer beauty and the biz and on facebook shimmer beauty and biz <laughs> all right i hope that you guys found this helpful today if you want more information on the group just go ahead and keep reading below i think that i have as much information as you possibly need if you want to join the membership just click one of the join now buttons and we will get you in there and that will trigger an email to come out to you and give you all of the info and we will get you set up one last thing that I do want to mention about the membership group is if you are brand new to business, please do not fret. There is an entire online course inside the Six Figure Solo Biz that is Business 101. So even if you don't have a business yet, this course is going to help you start it. And then my coaching is going to help you grow it. Okay, so reach out if you have any questions and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.